Hello, welcome to the Cozy Corner. It's y'all's Cozy, and today I'm here to do the 13 card spread for 2021 for the Aries. I hope that y'all are having a good end of your 2020, honey. I hope that this brings you some insight on what will be going on for the next 12 months of your life. Just a little bit about what will be going on or the energy of each month. And, of course, the 13th card will be the card that will be underneath to tell me um, your overall theme of the year. I found it very insightful for me, so I'm doing it for y'all. This can go for your sun moon, uh, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. And, yeah, let's get it. I don't intend. Whoa, hold up. You're because of but um, I don't intend on these to be very, very long. But let me make sure I'm not putting my cards in reverse. Because I'm not going to read these in reverse. So I got a new deck. And that's what I will be using into the new year, y'all. So we have the Angel Wisdom Tarot deck. And I love these cards. Like, they literally called to me when I, as soon as I saw them. And I was like, I'm buying these. Like, I'm buying these. So I do have a new deck. We will be using this tarot deck that looked like an oracle deck because it's so beautiful. And I love it. And let's do it. So let's look at your next 12 months. I'm feeling the need to just pull from the top, which I never do, which is kind of like what's bothering me a little bit about it. But at the same time, I've been feeling that for this, for this read, like type of reading that I want to do. So we got to shuffle. Alright. Alright, January, February, March, April, May, June. Okay. Felt the need to shuffle. June. July, August, September, October, November, December. Overall theme, awakening. So it looks like y'all will be going through reflection and insight um, over your next year. So it'll be very like insightful. You'll probably have spiritual realizations or um, a bunch of aha moments in this year coming up. Um, so the card says awakening where you see things in a whole new light. Embrace your uniqueness, charitable acts. So some of you might be getting into charity or something that serves the humanity that really, um, you know, doesn't benefit you as much, but it still brings you joy to do it. Get what I mean? You get what I mean. All right, so in January, it looks like we have the Knight of Wands, which is about passion, confidence, charismatic, and restless. It says events require immediate action. Trust your instincts of passion and relationships. Stay focused. So... It looks like y'all are going to be getting busy, either, either getting busy or, you know, getting busy at work. I mean, getting busy with your creative endeavors in January, which everybody wants to, they feel the need to do that anyway, because it's a new year. So like, what are, what's new? What are we going to do? Like, what's this year come to? So I feel that energy as well. Yeah, I can see how that is going to be. So then for February, we have Five of Cups, which is about focusing on the negative, but things like things not turning out how you expected. Forgiveness of self or others. Everything happens for a reason. Look for hidden blessings. So I'm feeling like something is going to be a loss in, in February. But at the same time, um, everything happens for a reason. Like keeping that, that, that like little quote. Of like everything happens for a reason if you lose something in February everything happens for a reason it probably fell out of your life to make room for something else so for March we have the page of Pentacles which is a scholar, um, scholar cheerful dependent mischievous 
And it has a bunny rabbit. It has a little rabbit. Time to get to work and an excellent opportunity presents itself. Happy news about your career promotions or scholarships. A new area of study. I feel like some of you are going to start reading books around that time or even some of you are going to start, start deciding that you want to go to school for the next year you know 2022 year um or even yeah starting in the fall because march ain't that far you know it's far enough but it ain't that far to where you can um what am i trying to say it ain't that far, but it's far enough to where you can think about it and then even process it for the next, like, four months, I would say. Like, until Jan until July, that's when you need to be like, okay, this is what I'm doing. You get what I mean? Because when it comes to college, that's when it starts, unless you're going to go to next year. Okay, then we have, in well, in, um, I'm sorry, I got the months mixed up. In April, it looks like you all will be... You have the three of ones, which means, well, it says it right here, opportunity. But also, it looks like, I don't, I'm getting the, I'm getting the energy of knowing what you want, because it says planning from the, for the long term, abundance from past choices, pride in your success of your labors. Be patient as you decide what's next. Like knowing, but knowing what's next. Like I'm getting the energy of y'all already knowing what's next, even when this energy comes around in April. Then in May, we have the King of Swords, intelligent, impar impartial. Respect and stoke. Receiving wise counsel, remaining objective and fair-minded, public speaking, communicating clearly, unemotional, no, unemotional relationships, or being unemotionally available. I'm not getting anything from like a relationship or like love standpoint point from this card so in may it seems like y'all will have to be focusing more on um literally what you what you're what you were already focusing on in april so it's like a transition into like okay putting things into plan and not able to like put emotion so it's like more of a career standpoint like i'm getting somebody focusing more on their career around that time so in june the two of cups Falling in love or a resurge of a, a romantic relationship. So like May, something's going to happen in someone's relationship where they will be cut off emotionally. But then that joy or that emotion comes back in June. So it's like whatever you had to focus on, you just had to focus on. It was like a little phase. It was like, you know, I just got to have this time to focus on me or to focus on this. Or it was something where logic kicks in, more thought process, more brain, left brain instead of right brain. Um, it says forgiveness and ending of challenges, exchanging gifts, don't give up on the people you love. And that might be a message for some of y'all because it might be really hard, even if you're not this energy, but it might be like you're dealing with that energy. Just don't give up on that person. Give that person time. Okay. Then in July, we have the seven of swords, a loss of peace of mind or personal freedom. Be caution. Take caution and be aware of others' actions. A material loss. You make sure you're being honest with yourself. Embr embarrassing secrets. My God, shut up, Chance. I'll be trying to take my money, nigga. Look, <laughs> I love you, Chance. I don't, I don't know if I really love you though. I love you as a human being. <laughs> and even that can sound fucked up. I love you as a human being, cause to me that's surface level. And love ain't surface at all, but like. 
y'all that made it surface. And that's for the unawakened ones. Still trying to get this message from this card. Um, something will be lost in this month. J July, around July, something will be lost. Because the next month is August where you have to manage your resources wisely and you're holding on to resources with the four of pentacles so it's some type of loss that happens in july and then in august you have to really like like restrain and be like okay this goes here this goes here this goes here like that and then in september you have the world which is about a brilliant success a time of joyful accomplishment and spiritual enlightenment freedom to do whatever you want be proud of yourself so after doing this whole discipline of yourself being like this goes here this goes here you know like logical spending logical even with your mind even with your soul even with just your energy just knowing when to give it when to not which is why they say peace of mind as well because you might just lose a peace of mind you might just lose a piece of self so once you do that you get brilliant success and it's like a balance of things that comes in then we have the page of source for october um so this is about logic perception or perceptive insightful and blunt an exciting inte intellectual challenge brilliant insights information that you need but might be challenging to receive review all documents carefully a transformation of some sort because it's a lot of butterflies in there and that's my thing but um it's a lot of butterflies in there so like at this point i'm feeling like somebody's either communication will change because the page story is also about communication so either somebody communication will change into a more left brain type of thing because it's a lot okay so because the next month which is november you're focusing on like your own thing which is like school eight of pentacles is school work like um learning what you can about a career or a subject going back to school taking a uh, um why can i not say that seminar i'm like why can i not say that or finding a mentor attention to detail skill work that you love so like getting back into that left brain you'll be getting back into that left brain in october just so that you can be doing what you love in November. And then in December, the Seven of Pentacles, which I feel like you're gonna to get to this doubting moment where you're gonna feel like, okay, is this growing? But it is because seeds take a long time to grow, but you're already planting seeds in, in November, which you were already planting seeds in March. So it looks like the next, the next year is when everything takes off. And this can be like a new a new business for some of you, a job for some of you, school for some of you, where, all right, boom, now I'm doing our C's, now I got this, I got that. It can even be taking simple classes. Like I thought today to like take a class about sculpture or like ceramics or something like that because I'm an artist. I'm not, not really into all that other shit that society makes you feel like you should be into like all this useful all this useless ass shit that's not gonna mean shit when i move when i when i move look i don't even know what i'm talking about moving but um when i leave here like it's not gonna mean shit to my fucking grandkids like i'm i want to plant things that's going to matter to my grandkids like i want to do things that are outside of the box instead of thinking that this shit because this shit gonna be gone one day y'all like if y'all don't know it but this shit gonna be gone one day bruh and i want my grandkids i want my kids to know like be yourself bruh so whatever your career choice is before i get emotional in this bitch in december efforts or investments will be rewarded in the future the need for patience a time for resting and planning for the future so in december you'll be planning for the next year but you're already planning season doing what you love in this year so that is y'all 2021 overlook of like what y'all will be going through in each month and that can like break down into anything but i'm really seeing a lot of pinnacles and a lot of swords so yep a lot of pinnacles 
So I feel like y'all are gonna be money based, which y'all are a lot of like in your bag. You might become more aware of money, what it means, what like I don't even know. Um, bottom card is the wheel, so a new, a fresh new start, which is like the beginning of the year. But that is y'all look at 2021, y'all. I hope y'all enjoy Aries and. I appreciate y'all for watching. Like the video, comment, and share my videos. And catch me on live. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Catch me on live. Catch me on live. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Catch me on live. Catch me on live. Bye. <laughs>